unlocked. All clear for you to indulge in, driver. There's something electric in the air. The kind of restlessness that precedes great moments. For good reason. We're getting you to a new dimension of car culture. The world of electric vehicles. My guess, it'll be nothing like you imagined. to enjoy that Motorfest experience. A popular Young Tech reviewer has come all the way to join you in your electric odyssey. His name is Danny. He hasn't been around much, but his viewers say he's a smart, knowledgeable, and passionate guy. He can't wait to meet you. So go knock his socks off. In this playlist, you'll first get to showcase each vehicle we got lined up for you through a nice and sweet ride. Then, it'll be racing time. You will witness how electric power stands against a century of internal combustion engines. Don't forget, you have to bring the cars to the starting grids without a scratch first. By the way, the forecast indicated extremely tough driving conditions today. Be careful out there.
say, get ready for a glimpse of the future. But that wouldn't be right. The future is already here. Let's see what's coming up. One of the cars the Motorfest wants to showcase for our lovely reviewer, Danny, is the Porsche Taycan Turbo S. An engineering marvel with all the slick style of a Porsche and the raw power of battery-powered acceleration. Remember, drive the vehicle to the designated location while keeping it as unblemished as possible. It's a showcase after all. This thing on? Yeah? Thanks again for driving these mighty EVs for me. You make it look so easy. Writing about these beasts is no easy feat, and I'm not much of a driver. Lucky to be teaming up with you. Let's do this. I might not drive, but I know quite a lot about these machines. The Porsche Taycan Turbo S. Where do I start? First 100% electric vehicle made by the Stuttgart manufacturer. Different variations available on the market. The Turbo S you're driving being the high performance model. Hey, nice, we got the best one. And if I remember correctly, it can reach 100 kilometers per hour in, wait, let me check my notes, 2.8 seconds. Wow, you think you could try that? I mean, without damaging the car, obviously. are just wow feels like we're on an island-sized exhibition i gotta snap some shots
here. Great job. I got some great pictures for my paper. Great job, but the journey is far from over. Job driver, I think you really showcased this car's potential. Now the race really begins. Racing time. Keep in mind that the EV's instant acceleration is one of their most impressive traits. That's something you can use against these guys. I did mention that it'd be great to have shots in a storm, but damn, Hawaii! You didn't have to go so hard. Anyway. I'm eager to see how great the Tycoon can race. It'll spice up my review for sure. You know Tycoon means lively young horse in Turkish. That's cool, but to me, Porsche is being modest here. I mean, look at that thing go! This is so much cooler than my usual review cycle and a hell of a lot crazier. Nitro lanes to refill your nitro batteries. Don't 
make fun of me, but to me, Eevee's like that Porsche is like a new power joining the car universe. Like a friggin' superhero. What? I mean it. You got a clear shot. Full power. Let's make history. I'm being a part of this. This is mental. This ride kills. You did it. showcase something that's slightly more ostentatious. Danny handpicked this one for its brashness, exclusivity, and trailblazing aspirations. Also, it's British. Care to guess which car it's going to be? point in one piece.
online. I'm ready to do this. Let's get out of town first. I'm so glad the Avaya's got included in this EV lineup. I barely got to check it out when it first came out. But this time, I'll make sure to review the sh living daylights out of it. For starters, did you know they only made 130 of them? The Avaya has been called many things. Eve, Type 130, Omega, but most people call it fast. I mean it. They can reach a max speed of 340 kilometers per hour in like nine seconds. That's just insane. That speedway is a perfect place to check that fact. Let's see how fast she can really go. that? Barely, right? It's like the stealthiest show of force. Check the wind turbines on the left. Looks like the wind is picking up. We're here. Good luck for the race. And don't forget, use the Lotus's full acceleration from the start. From zero to a hundred. Combustion engines just can't compete. Congratulations, driver. On to the next one. Great job. After watching you, our reviewer has new and inventive ways to describe this modern classic. Showcasing a car is one thing, but braving a storm in it is something else. Good luck, driver. So you're driving at warp speed through a tempest and racing a bunch of friggin' monsters. What could go wrong? Keep her as steady as you can. I'm gonna try to get good footage. That EV has a pyramid-shaped battery and an extremely low center of gravity. Slick engineering innovation for an optimal combo of power, responsiveness, and agility. It's gonna give you the edge, no matter what you're racing against. Trust me. You are actually part of the storm. You're lightning. <gasps> I should write that down. Incredible. Nobody's ever driven an EV like that. horsepower with that kind of acceleration? No wonder Eve isn't street legal.
almost there. Gotta get those glory shots. This car was made for the spotlight. You are a friggin' maestro. Damn, what the F was that? You good. guys you can't fight progress victory you rode the lightning and I got the shots of a lifetime Congratulations, driver. On to the next one.